Oh my god, I just counted how many books I have. I have... Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph. Obviously, I have a lot of books. If you didn't know, I just moved. I just posted a move-in vlog and decorating my entire apartment besides this corner right here, which is literally just stacks and stacks of books. Can't even see where they end because they keep going. And today's video is going to be me organizing and going through and showing you the books I have and sorting them and just organizing this complete chaos. The problem is in this apartment, I have no wall space. One of my entire walls is windows and one of my entire walls is closet space and a bathroom so the only wall I really have is right in front of my sliding door so I have no room for a shelf so I've come to the decision that I am going to have to stack my books like this so this video is gonna be me reorganizing these stacks and if you want to see like every book I have this is the video that you should watch because I'm gonna probably be going through every single book I have quick interruption before this video starts for our sponsorship which is likewise if you guys watch my channel you you obviously are readers looking for book recommendations, looking to find out what you like to read. Cause I know I even struggle finding recommendations for books and for like TV shows and movies and stuff like that. I'm always looking to discover new stuff that I'll like. Likewise is an app where you can discover and share recommendations for books, movies, and TV shows, and even more. And they find you the best personalized recommendations like based off what you already like. So it's catered to you. You can like organize what you wanna read or watch. And you can basically just scroll through this app like it's social media, but for recommendations recommendations and then you can like save what you want to watch later or read later. I think it's literally genius. So you guys can click the link in my description to download the Likewise app. I know I'm going to make an account and I'm going to list everything that I want to read and things I find on there. Click the link to download the app. It'll be right at the top of the description box. It's 100% free. You guys can follow me and it can be a great place where we find book recommendations together. That's not my YouTube channel. I just finished setting up my account and I just needed to come back and say that this is so cool. Please follow me. It's at Steph Bohr. Basically it's Tinder for books. Like it will show you the book and the description and you swipe right or left if you like it or not and if you've already read it you can like mark it as liked and add it to a list and like it will curate your selection even further based on what you like and don't like i just like added a bunch of books this is so cool i want to follow you guys go follow me on it thank you likewise for sponsoring today's video let's get right back into organizing my books i really don't know how i'm going to do this next to my bed can't see but over there i'm gonna have two stacks of books my tbr pile for the upcoming month and a recently read pile. I do a monthly reading wrap up, so I wanna keep a stack of all the books that I read each month. Those are gonna be over there, and I think that's what I'm gonna do first. So you're gonna to get to see my TBR in this video. I'm not gonna show you the books I read. I'm gonna turn those backwards. That would completely spoil my monthly reading wrap up, which is coming in a week. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first thing that we're gonna do. I'm going to go through and take all the books out that I read this month, and then I'll be right back, so. Okay, here I gathered the books I've read so far this month i'm gonna go put these next to my bed and come back and then do my tbr pile this stack is the only secret the rest i'm gonna show you i swear okay now after doing that and realizing how hard it was to go to the bottom and like pull stuff out i'm just gonna go from top to bottom and like start putting it in like little piles of what's gonna go where what's going on the bottom what i need at the top what's going together you know hi i'm editing right now and i just wanted to come in and say that the beginning of this video is very chaotic of me trying to disassemble the stacks so i might just speed this part up of me just like taking apart the stacks and sorting them but but I do tell you every single book title and what I have, series, standalones, books I need to read, everything. I tell you the title of like every book when I reorganize it. So that's the point of this video. So I'm probably going to speed up the part of me just like taking the stacks apart and sorting them on my own. And then I go in and I actually stack them up and I tell you what everything is. So that's what you probably want to see anyway. So that's what I'm going to show you. <laughs> I need to start sorting this against the wall. So I'm gonna make a series pile first of series I don't normally talk about. So I have the Dimly series right here going on the bottom. Um, then I'm gonna put the Summer I Turn Pretty series. I need to go find the other ones. Okay, I'm sweating. I'm gonna go change my shirt. It's making me really hot. So I'm gonna go change to a t-shirt. Okay, I changed it to this oversized t-shirt. I'm way more comfortable now. <laughs> I'm making this stack right here. What else do I wanna put? Oh, Anna and the French Kiss series, probably. Okay, here's the first Anna and the French Kiss book. So we have Isla and the Happily Ever After and Lola and the Boy Next Door. They fit like this young adult series section. You know what I'm also gonna put in this pile that doesn't fit at all? Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey. Because I never talk about those series either, but I own them. And I feel like I should put them under this. Oh, 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 oh. shit. Here's some 
Twilight books. First one, don't worry, I will make sure to tell you every single book that's in my shelf. I'm not gonna forget anything. I should totally flip that. Let me do that real quick. Okay, I just reversed that stack. I'm gonna put the Crossfire series here too. I think I'm missing a book. I only have four, and one of them doesn't match, which is really annoying. That's the Crossfire series by Sylvia Day. Then I think I wanna put the After series. I think I should have put the After series down here. Let me go find the After series. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I swear. Shit. Doing this really inefficiently. Okay, let's get after. After. After we collided. This is a bit wobbly because they have nothing to lean against yet. I think I'm going to stop with this tower for now. So here are series that I don't often talk about. I just grouped them all together. Either I read them a really long time ago. They weren't my favorite or they're just not what I normally recommend. You can't see, but right here is my Harry Potter series. Me, I'm just gonna keep this right here. Don't know what I'm gonna put on top of it yet. The next stack next to that is gonna be series I've also read, series that I recommend all the time. I'm gonna start with duets on the bottom. So we have Beautiful Disaster down here. Interference in Stealing Home by Harlow Cole. Truth About Tomorrow and Truth About Heartbreak. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the Sinners of Saint All Saints High series, which I absolutely adore and love with literally my whole heart. It was the first series that like, I got super, super attached to and invested in and obsessed with the characters, but I stopped recommending it because I saw a TikTok about the author and a bunch of stuff that she's done and said, and I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't recommend that anymore. It's really annoying that authors can write something so beautiful and then ruin it. So yeah, I'm gonna find that series real quick. There we have the Sinners of Saint All Saints High series all stacked right here. So I just found the whole selection series and added it to the top of this. This is the definitely the highest stack is gonna go but I felt like the selection needed to be up there moving back over here next I'm gonna do the fallen men series by Gian Darling okay I just gathered all of them I only own four their six books but the other two I don't own the physical copies yet so I'm gonna stack those in order there's that on top of that I think I'm gonna go for the Kings of Rittenhouse series which I have already here which are hockey romance companion novels there's that in order on top of that I'm gonna go for Fulton You by Maya Hughes to keep the author kind of together. We had the perfect first, second we met, the third best thing, and the fourth time charm. On top of that, off campus in Briar U. The deal, the mistake, the score, and the goal. And then the chase, the risk, the play, and the dare. Okay, then to like stick with the author thing, I think I'll put him and us because they're also hockey romances. I'm gonna put my Mafia books. I don't own all of them, but I'm planning on owning all of them soon. So I have four out of like the 20 books in the series. I'm putting Full Tilt and All In on top of this. Next stack is gonna be the Addicted series and the Like Us series and the Bad Reputation duet. Those all go together and I'm gonna stack them right here so I need to clear space for them. The most important books in this video are coming through. Everyone else, step aside. Starting off with Addicted to You, then Ricochet, then Addicted for Now, then Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower, Rise, Addicted After All, Feel the Fire, Long Way Down, last but certainly not least, some kind of perfect. Okay, so those are the 10 Addicted books. Then we have the Bad Reputation duet, which are basically a continuation of the Addicted series with two characters that are pretty much main characters in the series, but you don't get their point of view, but then you get two books in their point of view. Cuties, love them. That's whatever it takes and wherever you are. And then is the Like Us series. Love this one as well. So we have Damaged Like Us, then Lovers Like Us, Office Like Us, Tangled Like Us, Sinful Like Us, Headstrong like us, charming like us, <laughs> wild like us, <laughs> fearless like us. I fucking hate those last two, but you know I love this series with my whole heart, so still read it. The way that this is one series, or I guess it's technically three series, all that take place in the same universe, the same family, with the same characters, and I was never bored once. That is the power of a good author. I don't even know what to put on top of that. Like, what is even worthy of that? The only thing I could think to do justice on top of that are Colleen Hoover books. So I'm gonna stack every Colleen Hoover book I own right there. All the ones I've read. There's a few I have yet to read. I know, but I'll get to it. I'll get to it, I promise. So we got Heartbones and then Ugly Love. One of my all-time favorite standalones. I know I rave about it all the time. I just love it so much. November 9, probably my second favorite Colleen Hoover book. Love it. All Your Perfects, probably my third favorite one. Then we have Confess and Maybe Someday. Literally all of her books are like five stars. It Ends With Us, a classic. 
hopeless and then losing hope is that all of them i don't know but then the ones i haven't read yet i haven't read slammed which i think there's three of them i haven't read too late or never never so those are the only ones i haven't read besides verity and layla and there's a reason i haven't read these and that's because i want to vlog me reading them but those are the ones i haven't read by colleen hoover that i own I think on top of that i'm gonna go christina lauren because they're amazing so we have josh and hazel's guide to not dating the soulmate equation which i absolutely loved the unhoneymooners one of my all-time faves oh i just forgot two colleen hoover books i read finding cinderella and finding perfect i was actually sent them by miranda i kept these out separately because i was gonna thank you these are the books that connect all your perfects to hopeless which is so crazy because those books i would never expect to be in the same universe but these two novellas connect the books you can look up like the reading order um i just thought that was so cool the way that they're connected it makes me cry so i'm gonna stick those with the colleen hoover section back on to christina lauren love in other words one of my all-time favorite books i love it so much okay i think that's all the christina lauren books that i own so i'm gonna do my two emily henry books that's what i'm gonna do beach read people we meet on vacation love them both can't wait for her new release i'm about to put them up there next stack i think i'm gonna go i'm just gonna start putting in random standalones right here that i have read underneath the sycamore tree by b celeste find you in the dark chasing red didn't love it unpopular opinion but i didn't love it so i'm putting it on the bottom serenading heartbreak only love triangle book i've ever liked dirty letters and tools of engagement tessa bailey the problem with forever by jennifer l arma trout room hate by penelope ward red white and royal blue top secret stepbrother dearest playing with fire we were liars bad habit by charlie rose Bright Side by Kim Holden. I love that book so much, so underrated. Well Met by Jen DeLuca. The Summer of Broken Rules. I love this book so, so, so much. It's so good. Crush by Penelope Ward. Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. And The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Bully by Penelope Douglas. Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. A Simple Wild by Kay Tucker. Oh, just kidding. True Six Venom by Penelope Douglas. Keep in this section. Spanish Love Deception. This is like the best rom-com, non-deep romance I've ever read. I love it so much. It's fake dating. Read it. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Twisted Love by Anna Huang. A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Cry. Next, I'm gonna go into my Mariana Zapata books. Love her. Not to spoil, but I've read a bunch of her books this month. If you didn't know, she's like a slow burn queen and her books are like fat AF. So it's gonna take up some room. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me from Lukov with Love. Culty. Any others of hers? Or are they all in my other stack? Then I have Most of All You by Mia Sheridan. So good. Along with Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This author has absolutely nailed the good boy, bad girl trope. Like, so good. I have both my copies of The Song of Achilles. This is my favorite book ever, and I needed both covers. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Duh. Okay, I think those are all like the random standalones that have like nothing to be put with that I've read that I'm gonna keep right here. Now I'm gonna do series that I need to read. I'm gonna put the series I wanna read over here because then I have all the series together. I'm just gonna put them on top of my Harry 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 Styles. <laughs> Harry Potter books. One of us is lying and one of us is next. Then I have two books of the Paper Princess series I need to read. Devil's Night series I need to read. The Dirty Air series. I only have two of them. Then I have She's With Me and Stay With Me. I think that's a duet. The Art of Falling For You, The Hate of Loving You, and The Sin of Kissing You by Maya Hughes. I think I'm going to read these very, very soon. Then I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, which I'm also going to read soon. I need to get the Shadow and Bone series too. Then I have these books, Stay With Me, Watch Over Me, and Come Back To Me by Mila Gray. I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of books in this companion novel series. I have no idea what they're about out but i've been sent them all by different people and everyone's like they're so good read them so i definitely will i love companion novel series and i have akatar i'm gonna put books that are like the first book in a series so i have shatter me beautiful redemption these are books i only own like one in the series but i know that it is a series 
wait for you. This has been on my TBR forever. I forgot, I actually have another book in the Shatter Me series. This one's so tiny. So I'll put those together. On Dublin Street, before Jamaica Lane and down London Road, someone sent me these and I need to read that. That's a series. Okay, then coming over here and we're gonna go books that I need to read, but I don't think I'll be reading them soon until I have a video planned for them because I have a bunch of books picked out that I'm gonna read soon. So Love and Gelato, Fireside by Casey West, the Ninth Inning by Jay Sterling. The Boy Who Sneaks in My Bedroom Window by Kirsty Mosley. Oh, I just realized I have Beautiful Oblivion, which needs to go over here with Beautiful Redemption. I actually just took Wait For You out of there since I only have one of those anyway. I'm gonna put that in my TBR pile. Lyrics of a Small Town by Abby Glines. Misconduct by Penelope Douglas. Fighting Temptation by Casey Lynn. Burnout by Corley June. Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. Little Lies by Helena Hunting. I refuse to read this even though I want to so bad because I need to read the Puck series first and the Secret for Secret or Lie for Lie, whatever that se series is. So I'm waiting for that one. Perfect Chemistry, Alex Approximately, The Coincidence of Callie and Caden, Full Measure by Rebecca Yaros, Inseparable by Siobhan Davis, The Fill and Boyfriend by Casey West, The Perfect Game by Jay Sterling, One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston, I need to read this, History is All You Left Me, Things We Know by Heart, The Heart Principle, Circe or Circe or whatever, however you say this by Madeline Miller, I need to read this. Bug me about it, please. Tell me it's so good in the comments. If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nowlin, Before We Were Strangers, The Way I Used To Be and All The Bright Places, Then I Have The Marriage Game by Sarah Desai, A Study in Charlotte. Um, A Simple Wild is like one of my fave books and has like more books in the series. I don't even know how they could have continued it, but they did. Um, Wild at Heart and Forever Wild that I need to read. Excuse me. Putting them over here. My Policeman. I want to do reading vlog of that. Moxie. Watch the movie because I love Josephine Langford. Oh, Nothing More, which is like Landon's book from after. I've never ended up reading it. Sweet Dandelion. I have heard really good things, but it's teacher student and I hate that trope. So I keep putting it off. I actually read Normal People, but like literally so long ago and when i read it i was barely paying attention so i want to reread it and i also need to read call me by your name so i'm keeping those together and i'm putting them in this pile and then hands down by mariana zapata the hardest fall by ella mays heard great things about that too oh my god i can't believe i still haven't read this the invisible life of Addie larue will i ever read this i literally went out of my way to buy it after seeing Eamon's tiktok and never read it okay then i'm gonna put the three colleen hoover books that i haven't read that like puts me to shame. Like how have I not read them? I love her so much. I have so many more books still down here. I'm gonna go through my TBR that I've slowly been building over here, just throwing books aside. So I have A Wish For Us by Tilly Cole, The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai, Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout, The Roommate by Rosie Dannon, If I Never Met You by, I really don't know how to say that name. I don't want to say it wrong. Mari McFarlane. The Bride Test by Helen Wong. Neon Gods by Katie Robert. Flock by Kate Stewart. You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. Luna and the Lie by Mariana Zapata. Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. And To Love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays. Actually, I'm gonna add another book in there too because <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm adding The Hardest Fall by Ella Mays to my TBR pile too. So those are books I want to read ASAP. Um, I'm gonna go put this one next to my bed. Okay. I have so many books down here still and no more room on this wall so I decided I'm gonna take some books from this TBR pile and put them in the TBR pile next to my bed and then put these books these are books that I either read so long ago like my John Green books poetry books or they're random books that publishers sent me so I have like mass market copies oh shit I forgot to add these two to the stack let me add those in a sec I also was sent the Crave series, but I have no idea what it's about. So I also didn't put that in a stack yet. Basically books that were just sent to me that I don't know if I'll ever get around to reading. They're like gonna be my like last resort books because I have no idea what they're about because they were just randomly sent to me. Or I read them like in middle school, but I have like an attachment to them, can't get rid of them, like my John Green books. So first I'm gonna take some books out of here and go put them next to my bed. Now I'm gonna put at the bottom here books that I was sent that I probably won't be reading anytime soon, but I'm not gonna get rid of them because they 
intrigue me. Any books that I get sent, if I read the back and I know I won't like it, I either donate it or give it to my mom. So they're getting put to you somewhere. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through the titles of all these, but when I do an overview. Okay, now I'm putting The Book Thief, City of Bones, The Crave series, or Crush series, I don't even know. And When Ashes Fall, I'm putting those all on top. I just finished that's the stack of books I haven't read I'm gonna add these books that didn't fit that I haven't read over by my bed and I'm just gonna put them under my books that I'm reading this month because it's a short stack I'm gonna put these books I need to read in the future under that stack okay let me show you what we got going on next to my bed these are the stacks over here I have them turned around so you can't see I'm just kidding I actually have them turned around because it's like aesthetic over here this is like the background of my videos so I have it turned around because I don't want color over here. These are the books I've read this month, like starting here and up. Under that is my TBR. This is my urgent TBR. It's very long. So I think that is it for my wall. But I still have a bunch of books left over and let me tell you why. So I have all of my poetry books left over. Some of my like journaling books, another poetry one. I have this astrology book. This is like a coffee table book. It's just like so pretty. And then I have all of my John Green books and the books I loved in middle school. And I'm gonna go put these over by my front door when you first walk in as like a little book decor because I probably won't be picking these up in the near future. Okay, and here's what I did with those poetry books and like the books I read in middle school. I just put them next to my record collection right by my front door. Okay, here is an overview of all of the books over here. If you're worried about them falling, don't be. I literally just knocked into them and they didn't even budge. They're like puzzle pieced in with each other in a perfect way. So here are all of them. I'm showing you them pretty quickly. There is an overview of one of the TBR piles by my bed really quickly. And here's some more that I need to read. And then I turned around the books I've read this month so you can't see, but yeah, that's what's right next to my bed. But I just counted how many books I have. Guess how many? I have 296 books. Four more books away from having 300. That is a lot of books. Okay, everyone, my camera is literally about to die and I finished just in time. But thank you so much for watching. That is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching me organize my books. This was very chaotic and I don't have shelves, which sucks. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and seeing every book that I own. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to send me your favorite book, my Amazon wish list is linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye. Okay, I just finished up setting my account. It's at Steph4 if you want to follow me, but it's literally so cool. It's like Tinder for books. Like you swipe on what you like and what you don't like. You can like read the description. You can mark books as already read and then it will curate your list even more to make based on things you like versus don't like. Um, so you should totally follow me at Steph4. You can make like lists of books that you want to read, books you have read, and you guys can like see everything I post. Um, like I just rated all of these books. So now it's going to curate my list even further. Um, this is literally so cool. I don't know how I've never heard of this before, but you should definitely go follow me.